Oh, wait. OK, we're going to have a go at chapter three of Corpio One, which is called Series. Um, this chapter's uh, not too bad. It's quite short. Um, and actually, the contents are relatively easy. However, it is important to, uh, to be really careful with your algebra. That's the most difficult aspect of it, is that there's some kind of quite annoying algebra. Anyway, we're going to have a go at some of these. And hopefully, we're going to start off on some fairly OK territory. So if I had some summation like this, we're summing from r equals 1 to 4 of 4r plus 3. I could substitute in r from 1 to 4 in turn into this expression to get the sum. So I could have 4 times 1 plus 3 for r equals 1. Then I could add 4 times 2 plus 3 for r equals 2. And then I could add for r equals 3. 4 times 3 plus 3, and then I could add 4 times 4 out of 3 for r equals 4. And this would give me the sequence 7 plus 11 plus 15 plus 19, adding up to 52. But you might immediately spot that there are a couple of other things we could have done here. Um, for a start, we can see that this is an arithmetic series. With a equals 7 and d equals 4. So I could have worked out the sum of the first four terms of an arithmetic sequence, which, uh, if you remember, And it's in the formula book. I could have put them into here. And that would have also given me 52. Um, but there is one other way we could approach this. I'm just going to say it. We look and we can see that what we've got is 4 in every term. And I've got 1, 2, 3, and 4 there, giving a total of 10. So this is also 10 times 4 plus 1, 2, 3, 4 times 3. Um, because I could add them up like that in a different way. But how is this useful? Well, let's instead have a look at what the sum of these are. So, sum from r equals 1 to 4 of r. So that's 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. Now, you might have come across this formula before. Um, that you can find the sum of the first n integers using n over 2 times n plus 1. And of course, actually, we can see that this is 10, but we can also see that it is 4 over 2 times 4 plus 1, which is indeed equal to 10. This one can sometimes, this second one can catch people out sometimes because it People kind of overcomplicate it, but this really is add up from one r equals one to four the number one. So in r equals one, we get one. When r equals two, we still get one. When r equals three, we get one. And when r equals four, we get you guessed it, one. So for this, we get four. If I'm added up my that correctly. So more generally. Well, actually, before we go on, you might notice that what we've got here is we've got 10 here and we got 4 here, which corresponds to this 10 and this 4. And hopefully, with a bit of thought, you can see that instead we could have done this, that the sum from r equals 1 to 4 of 4r plus 3 is equal to 4 times the sum from r equals 1 
to 4 of r plus 3 times the sum from r equals 1 to 4 of 1, which is going to be 4 times 10 plus 3 times 4, which is 52. And indeed, this is true. And I'm going to do one more example of this. before I go on to a slightly trickier example. So say that I have the sum from r equals 1 to 3 of 2r plus 7. This is equal to the sum of r equals 1 to 3 of r, and I've got two of those, plus 7 lots of the sum from r equals 1 to 1 which is equal to two lots of, and this, now the sum from Rx1 to 3, we're going to use this formula from up there. So we have got 3 over 2, 3 plus 1, plus 7 times, well, if we add 1 that many times, we're just going to get, oh, that should have been a mistake, go back there, if we add 1, three times we get three. So I guess it is worth us thinking about that. And so overall we get two open brackets. So I've got three times four and two. So we get six plus seven times three, which is 21. So I get 12 plus 21 equals 33. And that was our sum from there. At this point I'm actually going to show you that you can check your answers to all of these using the calculator using the summation notation. So I'm going to check my answer to this. And I this time you have to use x because that's the dummy variable. So I've got 2x plus 7 and that's going from 1, 2, 3. And I get 33 as I had expected. So I'm actually going to skip on to fill in the first two of our formulas. We're going to come to these two later. And that the sum from r equals 1 to n of 1 is 1 plus 1 plus, and we add these up, plus 1. We have got n of those. And so this is equal to n. And this, the sum from 1 to then is 1 plus 2 plus dot 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 up to r and this is equal to n over 2 n plus 1 and I'm going to say immediately that you have to remember these they're not in the formula book okay slightly uh, more complicated examples <coughs> If I have from r equals 7, uh, just check I'm going to that place, yep, r equals 7 to 14 of 2r plus 1, I can do this by saying I want, if I imagine I had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, I want these ones I want from 7 to 14. So I can do this by saying I actually want to do the sum from r equals 1 to 14 of 2r plus 1. And I want to subtract from that the sum from r equals 1 to 6. Super careful there with the 6 of 2r plus 1. Which is equal to. I'm going to definitely need a bit more space here. Um, two times the sum from r equals 1 to 14 of r plus the sum from r equals 1 to 14 of 1. Subtract 
and I'm going to be super careful here, 2 times the sum from r equals 1 to 6 of r plus 1, uh, one times the sum from r equals 1 to 6 of 1, which is equal to 2 times, in brackets, 14 over 2, 14 plus 1, plus, this is just n, so it's 14, minus, oh, looks like there, close bracket, 2, open brackets, 6 over 2 times 6 plus 1, plus 6, and now we'll get calculator actually 14 times 15. Let's do this. Mental arithmetic when I'm making videos is much harder, believe me, you try it. 14 times 15 uh, plus 14. So this is 224 minus, and this one we have got. 6 times 7 plus 6, 48. And then 224 minus 48, 176. And I can always check my answer to these questions because I can just put the original thing in. Shift there, so shift and then that button there. So we're going to do 2x plus 1 from 7 to 14. Phew. And I got the answer right. Okay. So let's have a look at another couple of examples. So let's have a look at this one. Uh, I'm going to draw a clear line under the previous example. So what have we got here? Right. So we are going from... 3 to 2n plus 1 from 3 to 2n plus 1 of r. So I'm going to split that up as I did before. I'm going to split it up from r equals 1 to 2n plus 1 of r. And I'm going to take away the sum from r equals 1 to 2 of r to be super careful there. We want from 3 to 2n plus 1, so we just want to get rid of these two. Let's give myself a bit more space. Uh, no. Okay. So, using the formula, but this time using the formula for 2n plus 1, this is half little n, so that's 2 capital N plus 1 over 2, open brackets, little n plus 1, which is 2n plus 1 plus 1. Take away, well with this, I, I can just do that in my head, it's the sum from is 1 plus 2, so it's we're taking away 3 from there. Now this could be a show that question, or we could just have an expectation that it needs to be simplified. Uh, I'm going to put that in brackets to make that really clear. Um, this is all over 2. I can spot a factor of 2 coming. 2n plus 2 minus 3, which is equal to 2n plus 1, n plus 1 minus 3. Probably want to expand this brackets out, so let's do it carefully. 2n squared plus 2n plus n plus 1 minus 3. And so we get a final answer of 2n squared plus 3n minus 2. Might have to factorise that if the question uh, asked it, but I'm going to leave it there. And finally, this is another example. It's not that much trickier. Um, this one, I would think to do it like this. 6. Oh, there's definitely a typo in the question. I definitely meant r there. Okay, so I want 6, the sum from r equals 1 to n 
of r plus the sum from r equals 1 to n of 1, which is equal to 6n over 2n plus 1, it's just the formula, plus n, which is equal to 6n, n plus 1, plus n, 6n squared, plus 6n plus n, so 6n squared plus n, uh, 7n. Okay, well that is enough that you would need to have a tackle out of your questions from exercise 3a. Uh, I've got this prepared here, but I've included the questions that I'm going to recommend for 3b in a minute. Um, but in this video, I'm just recommending you have a go at the questions from exercise 3a. And I'll be back for part two.